Most racing classes do not allow any form of electronic stabilization. However, our AVC system incorporates a blinky mode by inserting a bind plug in the special port and during the binding process we'll place the AVC system in blinky mode which totally turns off the system and the receiver will blink indicating that you're in this blinky mode. The good news is AVC works with all spectrum surface transmitters. The key is the transmitter that you use affects how AVC works. With any of the Spectrum 2 channel surface transmitters, the, obviously you don't have a third channel, so you're unable to adjust the sensitivity of the um, AVC system, so that, that sensitivity is always adjusted at 50%. With any of our three channel systems, you can adjust the steering heading hold as well as the traction system um, simultaneously. So the sensitivity is adjusted with that third channel. The good news is with our four channel radios, you can independently adjust the sensitivity of the steering as well as the traction control. Certainly you can pull it out and install it in something else. The 4200 AVC system was specifically designed and optimized for the two vehicles that it first comes in. If indeed you do pull it out and stick it into one of your other vehicles, it will be necessary to recalibrate. Calibration instructions are included um, when you purchase the unit, uh, but it will be necessary and you may not get the same results. You know, one of the neat things about AVC is the sensors are so small and in fact the entire unit uh, is incorporated in an existing receiver. So the receiver is no larger than a conventional receiver and it's also just a couple grams heavier. So there's no uh, negative effects on incorporating AVC. So the system is fully integrated into an existing receiver that's uh, DSM-R as well as DSM-2 compatible. The system comes already calibrated and set up out of the box. So literally, you pull the vehicle out of the box, you're going to charge the batteries, you'll stick four AA's and the DX2E, and you're ready to go. There's really no reason to recalibrate. Of course, keep in mind, you rotate this knob to turn it up and increase the sensitivity, turn it down to decrease the sensitivity. If indeed you find that later on you want to recalibrate the system or you know pull it out, stick it in another vehicle, there are instructions that are included with the system that talk about that. And basically, when you bind, you go through a special procedure teaching the, teaching the receiver full throttle, full brake, full right, and full left steering. It's actually very simple and takes about less than a minute.